Wrestling community leaders are working to make your voice heard. It's part of a new program called Thrive ABI. Our Catherine Garcia explains how the program will provide tools to improve your community. I come in here and just visit with the people. Rachel Ortiz grew up in the Adeline Barrio. Now in her 60s, she volunteers at the Sears Park Senior Center. Over the past six decades, she's seen change in the key city, noticing an inflation of poverty, health care issues, and crime. We're elderly, and uh, most of us live alone. Our children are gone, and safety is the main, our main priority, I believe. It's an exciting day to, to be in Abilene. I'm Anthony Williams. Abilene leaders uh, gathering on Tuesday to hear the announcement of a new program called Thrive ABI. This initiative hopes to ensure every Abilinian has the opportunity to voice what they believe are the most pressing issues throughout the community. It's not just people who attend important meetings in town. It's people who live in every neighborhood, from every zip code, from every background. It's really important to us that they be represented. Megan Dobbs of the Community Foundation explains the program will first collect those opinions through open meetings and surveys. Those ideas will then be assessed by the steering committee, which will decide what issues issues should be tackled. From arts and culture to access to transportation, access to health care, people will have an opportunity to say, this is important to me. I would love to see Abilene accomplish X in the future. The program mirrors an initiative in San Antonio that addressed a myriad of issues throughout the city. Along with Mayor Anthony Williams, Seton Higginbotham first proposed this idea for the key city. The objective is, is to bring the community together and, and coalesce it around a group of ideas, and when you do that, then you can make an impact. Hopefully making an impact on neighborhoods like Rachel's. In Abilene, Catherine Garcia, KRBC, Abilene's local news. All right, thank you, Catherine. Officials say there's no set number of ideas that will be implemented through Thrive ABI. The first meeting will be November 18th from 6.30 to 8.30 p.m. at the Abilene Convention Center, followed by two other meetings in December. Supplemental emails and surveys will be sent out after each meeting.